Hello, Green Thumbs! How are you? Thank you so much for supporting my channel and for watching my farming videos. I have read a lot of comments asking me how I made my organic liquid fertilizer, which I used on my previous video. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make my liquid fertilizer rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Right now, I'm looking for plants rich in nitrogen here in my garden for my fermented organic fertilizer. I'm going to gather first the plants rich in nitrogen just like the water spinach here. If you are growing ornamental plants at home and you don't have green leafy vegetables, you can just make use of different types of weeds available in your surroundings just like this one. You can make use of this for fermentation. This is Madre de Cacao and it is one of the most amazing plants high in nitrogen content. You can include the stem of the Madre de Cacao for it contains more juice than the leaves. The good thing of this Madre de Cacao is that if you make it as your fertilizer, at the same time, it serves as natural insecticide for your vegetables. Here's what we need in our project. Different types of fruits for potassium source, green plants for nitrogen content, empty containers, chopping board, knife, molasses, eggshells for calcium source, banana flower and string beans, weighing scale, basin, paper bag, plastic screen, blender, rubber strings. First thing to do is to slice the plant materials into small pieces. The smaller, the better, so that we can really extract the nitrogen from them through fermentation. Well, nitrogen is fuel that makes plants grow and develop healthy leaves. Once you're done slicing your plant materials, you need to weigh them and the ratio is 1 is to 1. If you have 1 kilo of plant materials, the molasses you're going to use should also be 1 kilo. After weighing, put the molasses on and let it drain to the bottom for 10 minutes before you mix them. Now, let's prepare for the phosphorus content fertilizer using string beans and banana flour mixed with calcium from eggshells. Toast the eggshells for 5 to 10 minutes. Pulverize the eggshells using blender until they become a white powder. Well, eggshells are most made up of 90% calcium carbonate that helps our plants grow stronger. We will need a lemon to extract the calcium from eggshells so that it will become water soluble and it would be easy for the plants to absorb it. Then mix them well and set aside for 30 minutes. Now uh, let's prepare the string beans and slice them as small as we can. Just like that. Woo. Well, if you don't have string beans, you can also make use of banana flour for it also contains a high amount of phosphorus. Or you may use pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, seaweeds, or fish, or coffee grounds. Just make use of the available resources in your locality. After 30 minutes, the pulverized eggshells is ready to be mixed with string beans and banana flour. Mix them well and add the molasses equivalent to the weight of the three ingredients. And let it settle for 30 minutes. Our last fertilizer is rich in potassium. We're going to use different types of fruits available in our areas. Okay, so the more fruits you are going to use, the more nutritious for our plants. This is rose apple which is high in protein, fiber, and calcium. Banana, which is high in potassium. Well, I also add guava because it is also high in potassium and fiber. And lastly, santol and macopa. That's it! And then add all the ingredients and add the molasses. The molasses that I am using is called blackstrap molasses. So this syrup is produced by the third boiling product of the sugar making process from sugar cane. 
After mixing, clean this up using tissue paper. Now, let's cut the plastic screen. Just like that. Next, we have to sterilize the river stones to avoid contamination. Now, put the plastic screen on top and put the stones on the screen so that the plant materials will not float and all be covered with molasses. Now, let's cover the container with paper bag. Make sure that it's tight so that no insects can get through it that might uh, contaminate the whole thing. Okay, so these are my finished products for my organic fertilizer. The nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. We'll just wait one to two weeks for them to ferment completely. And do not forget to put them on shady areas like uh, under your tables or under your bed. Okay? Hi Green Thumb! So today marks the second week since we started our fermentation and finally they are ready. So let's now collect our fermented juices. I'm gonna open first the nitrogen content and then the phosphorus content. Lastly, the potassium content. Then uh, I need to remove first the stones and screen. We need to use strainer in order to separate the plant materials from the fermented juice. Uh, you may need to squeeze to make sure that we can get all the juice and then transfer the juice to separate container. And then the ratio of application is 1 tablespoon of liquid fertilizer per 1 liter of water and then apply 2 times a week or as needed. For my lemon seedlings, I apply rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, and calcium for healthy leaves and develop healthy root system. Okay, so for my strawberries, I used complete fertilizer rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And then for my lovely lettuce, I only use rich in nitrogen for them to have healthy leaves. For my carrots, I used rich in nitrogen and phosphorus content mixed with calcium for a healthy root system since carrots belong to root crops. For my eggplants, I apply complete fertilizer. I just mix the three fermented fertilizers for healthy leaves, root system, and beautiful fruits. And then for my spring onions, I just apply rich in nitrogen and calcium for healthy leaves and strong root system. And then for my tomatoes, I apply rich in phosphorus content, calcium and potassium for healthy roots, flowers and fruits. I hope you learned a lot from this video and I look forward to know your experiences in making organic fertilizers at home. Let's all go organic for healthier life and healthier environment. Once again, this is Rafi Destiny for Rafi's Green Thumb. Be a green thumb! Bye-bye!